Sunday is National Health Day, and to help celebrate, Aloha Care is pledging $1 million to help Hawaii's low-income populations get healthy. This is through their Imi Loa program. Joining us this morning is Paula Arsena, Vice President of External Affairs. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you. Now, that's a great thing that you guys just announced, that you guys are giving away all this money. Uh, before uh, we, we go into it, why don't you tell us, set the table, tell everybody what Aloha Care is in this Imi Loa program. Sure, Imo Aloha is Imo. Aloha Care's uh, community giving program. Okay. And Aloha Care is a statewide nonprofit health plan, and we're celebrating our 30th anniversary this year. And uh, Imo Aloha is our way of uh, fulfilling our commitment to the community. We feel it's really important that we be good stewards of health and well being for the communities that we serve. And through Imo Aloha, we partner with nonprofit organizations that serve. Uh, Hawaii's most, most vulnerable populations. Now, in the past, you guys have supported this. What what types of organizations are we talking about? Yeah, we work some, with wonderful organizations. Um, one of them is uh, the Kokua Kalihi Valley KVI program. It's a youth program where uh, kids get a bike. They learn to repair and maintain the bike. Oh, awesome. All their own. And along the way, you know, building self-pride and pride in their community. We've also worked with uh, Waianae Coast Comprehensive Health Center to support the startup of their telehealth program to improve access to care for EVA residents. And we've also worked with a number of mobile clinics who are providing services on Maui, uh, on the Big Island, and also here on Oahu. So what's the biggest challenge for you folks going, ahead, going forward? I think the biggest challenge is uh, helping people to get all the resources they need to be healthy. So we take a very broad lens of what it takes to be healthy. It's not just medical services, yeah. but it's also behavioral health services. It's also access to housing and food and transportation and all those things you need to support a healthy life. So it's incredible. It's sort of like a like a catch-all for all of these health health services, right? Kind of like a Aloha United Way. Is there a parallel there? Well, we're not as big as Aloha United Way. Right. Um, we annually spend a million dollars on this program, and so we would like folks to know that this is available. They can apply. We have a website called imualoha.alohacare.org mm -hmm. where we provide information. As is there well a deadline as, for that, or, or is that just open year-round? It's open until October, the, through the month of October, because we try to uh, tie things up by then. We also have a scholarship that's available. Awesome. And the deadline for that is uh, June 3rd. And that's available to Aloha Care members, health plan okay. members, as well as their family members. And it's a workforce scholarship. So we're looking to support students pursuing a health care career or a social services career. All right, good news on this Aloha Friday. Oh, okay, so what's the website again? Just, just, just to wrap it it's up. It's imualoha.alohacare.org. Imualoha.alohacare.org. Okay, thanks mm -hmm. for joining us. Thank you so much. All right, have a great Aloha Friday. You too, thanks. And you guys too, we got more sunrise ahead. Don't go away, we'll be right back.